A large portion of the Jewish nation has returned to its homeland, but the heart, soul, and mind of much of the Jewish nation are still in exile mode. This state of affairs must and will inevitably change. This is Torah Nation TV from Jerusalem, and we are speaking with the head of Machon Shiloh, Rabbi David Bar Chaim. Shalom, Rabbi Bar Chaim. Shalom. It says at the end of Parashat Bo, chapter 13, verse 9, what is the meaning of which literally means so that the Torah of Hashem shall be in your mouth? In order for us to understand this pasuk, this expression of the Torah correctly, we need to first understand the essence of the miswa of tefillin. What are tefillin? Tefillin are really a mini sefer Torah, which a person wears on their body, uh, literally ties to, the, to their body, uh, in which tefillin we find certain Parshiot, certain sections from the Torah. A person cannot walk around with a Sefer Torah attached to his body all day long. Uh, one cannot carry a Sefer Torah everywhere, everywhere one goes, although one could add here parenthetically that the king of the Jewish nation is uh, required to have a Sefer Torah with him. He doesn't have to hold it literally on, in his arms every moment of the day, but it has to be wherever he goes, a Sefer Torah follows him. And the idea behind uh, that uh, commandment, that requirement of the king to have the Sefer Torah in his presence all the time is connected to the Miswa of Tefillin. In the same way, every Jew is required to be connected to the Torah of Hashem in a very real sense, a very even physical sense, and in a, in a constant way, in a constant manner, so that the person cannot really, uh, as it were, be without the Torah, without the influence of the Torah, without the Torah having an impact on him. In order for this to be true, the, the Torah has to be with us at all times. And seeing that we cannot uh, study Torah at all times, we have to do other things in our lives. Therefore, the, the tefillin are a substitute for the study of the Torah. We find a number of midrashim where this idea is conveyed. In other words, the midrashim all uh, approximately say the following that Kadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah and told us uh, You shall uh, contemplate and, and delve into the Torah day and night. And the Jewish people reply, But Hashem, we cannot do that. We have to work, we have to make a living, we have other things that we must of necessity do. So how can we possibly live up to this? The answer given by Hashem in the Midrash is, Where to fill in? all the time, and uh, this will be instead of the study of the Torah all the time. And this concept appears in the Mechilatha in Parashat Bo on this Pasuk. In the Mechilatha, this is uh, Mesechta, the Pisha Parasha Yud Zayn, the end of Parashat Bo. Urzikaron ben Aynecha, Rema Antia Torah Adonai Beficha. The Mechilatha states, Mikan Amru, Kol Hameneah Tefillin, Ki'ilu Kore Vatorah. From, based on this pasuk, that the Torah itself compares the tefillin to the Torah. That if you wear tefillin, it is, if, it is as if the Torah of Hashem is in your mouth. The Chachamim made the following statement. Kol hameniyah tefillin. He who wears tefillin, ki'ilu koreva Torah. It is as if he is studying Torah at that moment. Ve'chol ha'koreva Torah, potum in ha'tefillin. And therefore, the opposite is also true, says the Beraitha here in the Mechilatha that he who is studying Torah does not need to wear tefillin at that moment because the, the Torah and the tefillin are really one and the same thing. And the Nitziv of Veloshin in his Perush on the Torah states as follows, Tefillin hu me'en Torah. The tefillin, wearing of tefillin is like study of Torah. K'moshe ha-Torah we'iuna madracha tula adam liyof ne'eman le'loha. Just as the study of Torah trains a person and... Uh, educates a person in such a fashion that he will be loyal to Hashem. 
and follow in the, the ways of the Torah and wish to promote the Torah and live his life according to the Torah and teach it to his children, etc., etc. As it is said in the Avot de Rabinatha, and this is a Baraitha, uh, an expanded version of Musechet Avoth, in Perekaf it states then, the Nasiv quotes, Kol Hanothen Hirure Torah Alibo, he who who places uh, thoughts of Torah literally on his heart. That is to say, he who is, he who is constantly contemplating uh, Torah thoughts and ideas because he is involved in the study of Torah on a very regular basis. etc. In other words, it says in the, uh, in the, in the Midrash, in the Sparaitha, that he who accepts upon himself the Torah and is constantly delving into the Torah other thoughts and other ideas, ideas which are negative, with frivolous, empty ideas and thoughts and concepts. Hirure Avera, Hirure Shatuth, Hirurim Raim, etc., says the Baraita over there. All these things will be removed from him. This is the purpose of, of studying the Torah, that a person focus on what is true and correct and uh, conducive to doing the right thing and, and walking in the path of the Torah and doing Hashem's will. And in the same way, says the Natsiv, the Tefillin has, have a similar effect on a, on a person. I quote, the Natsiv continues, he says, Kach Tefillin Adam Israel. Just as a, a Torah scholar does this a great deal, uh, one imagines, by studying Torah regularly and for uh, much of his time, and perhaps the average person can study less Torah on a daily basis, but wearing, wearing the tefillin for a long time, for all, all of the day, or many hours of the day, one achieves something similar, perhaps not as powerful, not as, uh, as meaningful an experience as the study of Torah itself, but on the other hand, it is still a uh, microcosm, as it were, a small substitute and a reminder for the Torah, which a person is not able to study at the moment. And this is what we find in the Rambam, Ilchot Tefillin Perek Dalid, towards the end. Rambam writes, Alecha Kavhe Kedushat Tefillin, the Kedusha, the holiness of Tefillin. Kedusha Gedolahi is a very great Kedusha. Shekol Zeman, She Tefillin Al Rosho, Shel Adam Al Zero'o. As long as a person wears Tefillin on his head and on his arm, Hu Anov Uyare, he will be humble and uh, God-fearing, and he will not be uh, likely to be drawn into empty, frivolous talk or behavior, and he will not think evil thoughts, rather he will turn his focus and attention to concepts and ideas of truth and justice. In other words, that's a, a, a term a synonymous term for Torah. Lefichach, says the Rambam, therefore, Sarich Adam lehishtadel liyothan alo kol ayom. And therefore, says the Rambam, a person should try to his utmost to wear tefillin uh, at all times, kol ayom, shemiswathan kachim, because this is the meaning, this is the purpose of this miswa. In other words, seeing that the purpose of the miswa, as we have just explained, is as a substitute for the study of Torah, something which is there to remind us of our connection to Hashem and the ideas of the Torah which are written in the Tefillin and in general the ideas that we find in the Torah. Seeing that the aim is to remind us that we, cannot, that we should not be able to forget and that we should focus our attention and always be aware of these things. Therefore, the aim of this Miswa is to be a constant reminder. And therefore the Rambam says, Miswathan Kahi, this is the uh, essence of the Miswa, this is the meaning and the purpose and therefore the halachic requirement. This is not some extra, uh, optional extra. This is not midat um, hasidut. This is the essence of the miswa. And the Rambam is, is not alone in thinking so. This is what we find in all the Rishonim. For example, uh, Rabbeinu Yonah, in his Drashoth on the Torah, we find he makes a very similar statement in Parashat Bo. On page 103, Amud Kof Gimel, in, in the Drashot of Rabbeinu Yonah, he speaks about the uh, Miswa of Tefillin, which follows on the heels of the Miswa of uh, Bechor, of Pidyon HaBechorot, of redeeming the firstborn, to remind us again 
obviously at Mitzrayim, and the Tefillin also come to remind us of uh, Itziat Mitzrayim, of the Exodus. And then Rabbi Yonah says regarding Tefillin, Wiram is here al Miswatha Tefillin, and Hashem, after the Miswa of Bechoroth, tells us of the Miswa of Tefillin, Shehi le Zikaron Yasiat Mitzrayim. This is a very important point to take note of that the Miswa of Tefillin is there to remind us on a constant daily uh, basis and throughout the day of Yasiat Mitzrayim. And we will speak about this more in a moment. Rabbi Yonah continues, he says, We are told to wear tefillin, Kemamara Kathuv, as it says, Wahu, Dome le Miswa, le Miswa Tahodesh Hazesh, Shaitha Rishona, Kefishi Pirashno, Ela Shezotha Miswa, Him Huyeveth, Liot Aladam, Tamid Kolayom. This Miswa of wearing tefillin, the, the Chova, he doesn't say it's a, uh, an additional Humra uh, or something of that sort. He says, This is the Chova. He, Mehuyeveth Liot Aladam, Tamid Kolayom. It has to be on a person all day. And by so doing, the Torah will be literally in the mouths of those who are supposed to live according to it. As it says in the Pasuk, in Tehilim, I have placed Hashem before my eyes literally always, so that it will not be uh, distant from me, it will not uh, be lost from me at any point. In other words, we see that Rabbi Yonah, just as the Rambam, understands, as all Rishonim understand, that the Miswa of Tefillin is intended, uh, in, in essence, to be a constant reminder something that the Jew wears at all times. And even if a Jew is not capable of wearing Tefillin all, all of the day, he t- at least should make the effort, wherever possible, to wear Tefillin for some part of the day, not just for half an hour a day during Tefillat Shaharit, because this is the essence of the Miswa, and this is the meaning of the term Lema'an Tireh Torah Adonai Beficha. That which is in our mouths, like the food that we eat, becomes part of us. When we eat something, it becomes a part of our being, part of our body. It affects our health, it affects our uh, well-being, it uh, builds our, our body tissue, etc. That which we eat is part of us. And the same is true of the Torah. When we ingest the Torah, so to speak, into ourselves, we make it a constant companion, something which is uh, natural and uh, always in our mouth, as it were, as the food that we eat, like the, like the uh, food that a person eats on a constant basis. In the same way, the Torah is there to be a constant reality with us and to be ingested into us. And then the Torah, once the Torah has, been, has become part of us, because we are constantly dealing with the Torah, either by studying the Torah or by wearing tefillin, etc., or by performing this or that mitzvah, in that fashion the Torah becomes a part of our being. And then we are able to express this Torah, to our, explain it to ourselves and tell it to our children and to our friends. In other words, then we are able to broadcast this Torah to others. This concept of that which is uh, close to us, that which is natural to us, and that, that which is to become part of us, being described by the Torah or by the Nevi'im as, as something which you place in your mouth, we find in the Torah and in the, in the, the Nevi'im in a number of places. We find in the Torah, in Sefer Devarim, Perek Lamed, Pasuk Yudar 30, 14, uh, Hashem says to us, the Torah that I am giving you, the Miswot that I have commanded you, you are able, without a doubt, to achieve them, to understand them, to live according to them, and they're not far from you. And the Torah goes on to say, Ki qarov elecha hadavar ma'od, the thing is very close and near to you. Beficha asato. It is something which is and should be beficha. In other words, it should be part of you because of the Torah that I've given you, which you are to study, and the miswoth which you are to keep and the particular the Miswa of Tefillin, which is a substitute or an extension, as it were, of the study of Torah, then it will be Beficha, it will be part of you, it will be on your lips constantly, it will become part of your being. And then it can be Bilva Vicha, and then it was something that you can think about and understand and contemplate and think about how to put into practice. And then La Asotho, the actual performance and, and uh, putting into practice of the Torah in the real world. Similarly, we find in the Sefer Yehezkel, Perek Gimel, the following statement. Here, in the beginning of Perek Gimel in Yehezkel, we find that Hashem speaks to Yehezkel and Navi, and He wants him, Yehezkel, to go forth and speak certain thoughts and ideas to the, to the people, to the Jewish people. And He says, 
And he said to me, Ben Adam, et hasher timsa echol, that which you find before you eat, echol et hazot, eat this scroll of writing that he saw, walech daber abeth Yisrael, and go and speak to the children, to the house of Israel. Again, the idea here is of internalizing something, a message, an idea, echolet ha as it were, not literally, but figuratively, ingest it, make it part of you, so then you'll be able to speak it and teach it and make it part of other people as well. So the concept of has to do with taking something and making it a part of ourselves, making it something entirely natural to us, just as the things we place in our mouths, like food and drink, are natural to us and are healthy for us and uh, keep us alive and cause us to grow. In the same way, the Torah keeps us alive and causes us to grow in the spiritual sense, and it uh, trains us to be who we are supposed to be. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one, if you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, Please email us at office at machonchilo.org.